I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. In this video, uh, I'm going to compare two brew. Okay, one with without the chef, and one with chef. So, so, so here's what we're gonna do. It's because I want to see the difference between with or without. So what I'm gonna do is, I have a lot of coffee shops here. I'm gonna add quite a bit. I'm not just add a little bit, quite a bit. So let's find out. It's gonna make any difference in your brew. Because the reason why I'm doing this, uh, last couple of weeks I've been watching a lot of you know uh, YouTube videos on trying to get some ideas and get some tips. And there's a lot of information out there. Okay, I, you know some uh, you know some YouTubers say that hey, just make sure you remove your shop, You're gonna get a really clean cup of coffee. Some other camp say hey, it doesn't taste nothing. Okay, it doesn't taste. I mean, there's no taste. So we are going to put it to the test. Okay, that we are going to put it to the test. So by the way, if you're first time joining us uh, this channel, welcome. I mean, that's what we do here in uh, my uh, live live session. Uh, we, we usually compare grinders, compare brewing method. I mean, we, we, I mean, I like to compare because the reason why I like to compare is because you, you need to something to compare to. Okay. People ask me, Hun, which grinder is the best? Okay. Depend on what? Okay. Depend on uh, which grinder you want to compare to. That's the reason why behind me here, as you can see, I have, you know, I have a couple of grinders here so I can give you you know, some kind of informed information. So I don't have to second guess. Again, that's one person's point of view, okay? And the thing is, fact is, my taste is not the same as yours. Something really I enjoy, uh, sometimes you may not like, you know, your taste, but so it all depends. But least uh, you're gonna have some uh, reference point, okay? So one cup without the chef, the other one, I'm going to add a lot, okay? I'm going to add a lot of shafts, so uh, hopefully we are going to tell a little difference in coffee. So I'm using the coffee from the Equator Coffee, El Salvador. Okay, tasting notes, light sea, pomegranate, and low rose hip. The rose hip is very bright, okay? Very bright there, so let's find out. Okay, let's find out. All right, here we go. I already okay here we go so I already pre grind coffee using the fellow oat the gen tubers we're all ready to go guys the water's ready we got 13 grams here I got 13.3 gram. Okay. No, no, let's take some coffee out. So let's go close as possible. Okay. There we go. 13 gram there. All right. So this one is, as you can see from here, there isn't a shaft. Okay. For this one, guess what, guys? I'm going to add quite a bit. Okay. Look at that. I'm just going to add it right on the top. I'm going to mix it. There's a lot of stuff there. Comes the brewing method, it's gonna be identical. Brewing method. I'm gonna be adding 200 grams of water. I'm gonna start with a 35 gram. I'm going to wait about 35 seconds. I got the large shaft, so 
it's gonna be you are going to tell the difference okay I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna do the second pull go all the way to 200 just gonna that's it now then I'm gonna give it a quick stir done I'm going to do the exact same step. I'm going to do the exact same process as well. Uh, the reason I, I like doing this brewing method because this is uh, repeatable. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with uh, about 35 to 40 grams of water. Give it a quick stir. I'm going to wait about 30 seconds. <clears throat> there we go. I'm just going to go again. Go all the way up to 200. I'm just going to give it a... That's it. Give it a quick stir, just like last time. Uh, just about two minute brew time here. As you can see from there, you see the all the chaff is chaff is all day floating right now. Again, I put extra in it. So this is about just about just under about two minutes brew time. So you ship it about the same brew time because the same grind size. Okay. Yeah, just about the same there. Just about two minutes. So brew time is about identical. Brewing method is the same. Only thing difference, as you can see, is the width, chaff, and hold on without it okay with and without it I don't know what do you guys think okay what you guys think yeah let me know on the live chat there live chat uh, comment section let's flip the camera here we go all right let's find out okay let's find out so i'm going to start with uh without okay now let's take a look at the colors all right about the same uh with with the shaft right here without it here you go cheers smells pretty good there okay aesthetic bright Okay, that's, I'm not going to say, yeah, so this is the wet chef. Man. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again, folks. Let's try one more time. The without, okay, without. Here we go. Okay. 
wet. Uh, there, there's no difference, guys. Okay, so that's the another reason I put extra in it. Okay, I put extra in that coffee. There, yeah, there's no difference. Okay, there's no difference. So I mean, if someone tell you, hey, you should remove, uh, you should remove the shaft on your uh, whenever you brew your coffee. You know, I say, hey, no. I mean, if you want to try, okay, yeah, let me know, okay? I mean, let me know, all right? Because uh, as you saw, I put extra, that large chaff, extra, all right? So I want to even highlight that even more. But at home, in reality, right? In reality, you know, if you grind some coffee, had the chaff in it, we are talking about a little bit. For whatever you're making filter coffee, I'm talking about filter coffee. I'm not talking about you are cupping, okay? I'm not talking about you are just cupping. You are making filter coffee. I don't think you're gonna. You, I don't think you're gonna tell the difference. So, uh, so coffee has been cooled down a little. Okay, let's let's cool down a little. Hold on, here we go. Okay. Right, so coffee is definitely cool. Here we go. No. I, I, I mean, I, I cannot tell, guys. Okay, you said 40 Watson. It would be different if the chef was mixed in rather than just on the top. You know what? The fact is, whenever you grind coffee, it's going to be mixed anyway. So that's the reason I mixed it. Okay, that's the reason. I mixed it. Yeah. So uh, DK asked me to get my uh, sal. So yeah, I, I need another person. Okay. Um, I know you guys will take my word for it. I need another person to validate my taste. But uh, hopefully, okay, we're going to have some people. Hopefully, we're going to have some people coming soon. All right. Hopefully, soon. So, so you don't have to take my word for it. But, but let's try one more. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. So, so here's, I, I'm going to try one more. Okay. You know what? I have a better test. Hold on. So here, here's what we're going to do. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea, guys. There we go. Should be fun here. It should be a lot of fun. Okay. So, I got some water right here. I'm going to boil some water. I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to get the paper. So here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to brew coffee with the shaft only. Okay. I'm going to brew coffee with the ch a shaft only. So, let's find out. All right. Let's find out what this uh, tastes like. It's going to be taste something or taste nothing. Okay. We're gonna do the exact same process. I, I think I think this one tell us a lot. Okay, Leon say it sounds gross. All right, Leon. Here's what we do, guys. So that's what we do usually on afternoon session. Okay, we just hang out, brew some coffee. There we go. Here we go. Let's find that. Hold on. Here we go. I think it's going to be definitely tell us the definite answer right here. I'm just going to wash paper. 
The exact same process, okay? I mean, that's kind of like what we do here. Uh, I mean, one of you guys make coffee. You guys first, you guys wash the paper. All right. You guys usually wash paper. I'm going to add about one gram. Okay. One gram is quite a bit though. Goodness. You see that? How much chef I'm putting in? about 0.4 gram so let's add about 50 grams of water actually no how about uh how about 100 grams each okay let's 100 grams each okay i'm gonna add 100 grams each As you can see right here, clear. You know what? Let's yeah, look like kind of like apple juice. This tastes. Uh, they look like apple juice. All right. Okay, here we go. So by the way, so this is uh, pretty much, so this is a chef I got from, uh, I did a roast some coffee yesterday. So that's what uh, the, co uh, the chef left over from my uh, coffee roaster, okay? So this is like, I mean, strong as get, okay? So this is the, I'm gonna start with the regular water first. Okay, I'm just gonna ease it into. I'm gonna smell it. Okay. I can definitely smell. Smells like wet grass, okay? Smells like wet grass. By the way, the four grams of shaft in there, four or five, quite a bit, a lot. They look like, look like apple juice, right? They look like apple juice. Obviously this is uh, Leo said, sounds gross. Here you go, cheers. So again, it's coming from the coffee roaster, all right? The, the uh, roaster, so it's pretty strong. So let's start with the water first. Okay, that's fine, just, just the regular hot water. So this is the chef. Uh, look like apple juice. I can definitely smell it. Here we go. Okay. It's kind of like tea. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of like tea. Very mellow tea. Oh man. So I think I'm gonna wait. I think uh, Jason said, you know, I'm gonna wait the litter cool down and then I'm gonna taste, okay? But earlier, so so this copy has been cooled down. So this is a wit chef without the chef earlier. So let's try with the wit, actually without first. <coughs> then, here we go. Since the coffee is cooled down, you're gonna see the slight taste difference. 
<coughs> well, not much, but it's not that bad. Uh, I, I, mean, I have to say, the let's say someone say pee water, okay. You mean tea, okay. I mean, this is not bad at all. I mean, if you, okay, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to get uh, in a shaft if you don't roast your coffee, but this reminds me of tea when I used to drink uh, when I was in Korea, okay, when I was young, okay, when I was, uh, when I was young kids, yeah, uh, DKC, Bali tea, yeah, very mellow, water-like, the slight flavor, I mean, so this one remind me of the tea when I used to drink, okay. Very subtle. Uh, they're very smooth, okay? It's not bitter or sour, just like, kind of like lukewarm water. Yeah. I mean, quite pleasant, okay? I have to say, quite pleasant. Okay, so, hold on. So, coffee doesn't cool down a little bit. So, this one, uh, without the shaft here, chaff. Okay? The wet. I have to say, once coffee is cold, uh, bring out a lot of acidity, okay, a lot of brightness. The wet chaff, they bring it down, so well balanced, okay, the balance is fantastic, all right, but without it, you can see a lot of acidic, the brightness is popped up, it's highlight a lot of brightness, it's not as balanced, so personally, okay, I like wet with chef, okay, uh, with a lot, okay, so in reality is if you brew your coffee just regular weight, the picking out just a little bit, it's not going to make any difference in your cup, okay, cup quality, let's put it that way, all right, if you're just joining us, uh, I was actually add so much more to this cup, I mean, the bringing down the, the acidic quite a bit, that's why it uh, tastes very kind of like well balanced right now but again uh, if you are just doing regular brewing method at home you just freshly uh, roast grind coffee you're gonna have a little bit of shaft there you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna tell the difference okay especially you are making filtered coffee and uh, but if you are doing cupping maybe okay because with a the cupping there's no filter to filter out all right filter out the shaft but uh, with filter coffee with the paper with, yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, again, you're not going to tell the difference, all right? So in this experiment, I put so much in it. So this one has four grams of chaff, four, uh, 0 0.4 grams. That is a lot because this one, chaff has no weight, okay? Quite, you know, so, so coffee has been, the water has been cooled down right now. So let's try one more time. So, so this is about four gram, uh, 0 0.4 grams. It's really nice tea. I mean, if you like tea, very mellow. There's no whole lot of flavor to it. I mean, just this is just the regular hot water. So this one is kind of like very, very mild. Okay, very mild. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna tell the difference. Okay. Hopefully, this video helps. Okay, I know if you are uh, nitpicking about the picking out the chef in the morning to make yourself coffee, uh, you don't have to. Okay, yeah, I mean, take my word for it. But, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. Try both ways. Okay, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. On weekend, if you have time on weekend, try with and without it and see. Uh, let me know. Okay, let me know. Yeah, let me know in the comment section. I um, mean, if you tried it before. Again, so this is a, you can put it as a really, really low quality tea leaf, all right? But if you don't like just, if you don't like plain water, I mean, this is like perfect, okay? Not a whole lot of flavor, just, you know, yeah. Anyway, I hope this video helps and uh, make sure to thumbs up on this video, all right? And I'm going, I'm going to, I'm gonna talk to you guys uh, next couple of days. We're gonna have some really exciting uh, grinders coming this week. 
all right so i got one grinders coming hopefully by uh sometime this week uh, it's called a uh, calf attack made by calf attack it's called mc5 okay uh, it comes with a shuriken burst set in it so that is uh i'm really looking forward to it that's that is the most i say most expensive conical burr out there i'm talking about conical not the flat conical burr comes to conical burr i mean doesn't get any better than that so i'm really excited and you know i'm kind of anxious and anxious to try it out because it's not cheap okay that is pretty pricey so i'm hoping i'm hoping it's going to be better than any other conical burrs in my coffee desk okay yeah let's see here dave dave is looking for the df83 yeah df83 is one of those grinders that they are great overall price is right large burr sets i, I think you're going to be happy with it anyway i hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon and see you guys next time